Welcome once again to Digital Training Hub. If this is your first time visiting the channel, hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to receive alerts when new content is released. This is Lesson 1 of 7 on Digital Literacy. Lesson 1. Introduction. Digital Literacy Unit of Competency is among the seven basic competencies units offered at all levels of qualification. This unit covers the knowledge, skills, and behaviors required to effectively use a computer and other PCs, and digital devices such as smartphones, tablets, laptops, and desktops. It entails identifying and using digital devices for purposes of communication, work performance, and management at the workplace. Digital literacy is significant due to the critical role that technology plays in societal and industrial growth. Digital literacy has also gained recognition as a valuable tool for lifelong learning and collaboration in this global village. Introduction The critical aspects of competency to be covered include control of security threats and computer crimes, applying word processing and a spreadsheet by workplace procedures, integrating emerging issues in computer ICT applications and applying laws governing the protection of ICT. The basic resources required include digital devices such as desktop computers, laptop computers, smartphones, printers, internet access, and computer software among others. The unit of competency covers six learning outcomes. Each learning outcome presents learning activities that cover performance criteria statements, thus creating an opportunity for the trainees to demonstrate knowledge and skills in the occupational standards and content in the curriculum. Information sheets provide definitions of key terms, content, and illustration to guide in training. The competency may be assessed through written tests, demonstrations, practical assignments, interview, oral questioning, and case study. Self-assessment is provided at the end of each learning outcome. Holistic assessment with other units relevant to the industry sector workplace and job role is recommended. Performance standard. Apply security measures to data, hardware, and software in solving tasks in an automated environment by manufacturer specifications, work procedures, prevailing technology, and laws governing the protection of ICT. Learning outcomes. List of learning outcomes. Identify computer software and hardware. Apply security measures to data, hardware, and software in an automated environment. Apply computer software in solving tasks. Apply internet and email in communication at the workplace. Apply desktop publishing in official assignments. Prepare presentation packages. Learning outcome. Identify appropriate computer software and hardware. Learning activities 1. Determine concepts of ICT with computer equipment. Special instructions computer software and hardware to be provided. Activities may be carried out in groups or individually. Learning activities 2. Determine classifications of computers by manufacturer specification. Learning activities 3. Identify appropriate computer software, a collection of instructions or computer tools that enable the user O to interact with a computer and its hardware, perform tasks, according to the manufacturer's specification. Learning activities 4. Identify appropriate computer hardware, collection of physical parts of a computer system such as monitor, keyboard, and mouse, according to manufacturer specification. Learning activities 5 determine functions and commands of the operating system accordance with the manufacturer's specifications. Identify appropriate computer software and hardware. Introduction. Digital literacy is an important topic in the modern world. Literacy is the urge to read and learn. So, digital literacy is the process of acquiring knowledge and skills to effectively use computers and other technology devices. Some of the computer hardware is desktops, monitors, printers, scanners, mice, keyboards, and storage devices, hard disks. The computer software includes Windows, Linux, and Unix. These are the operating system software. Under the computer software, we also have application software which includes Word processors, e.g. Microsoft Word, spreadsheets, e.g. Microsoft Excel, graphic presentations, e.g. Microsoft PowerPoint, and database management systems, e.g. Microsoft Access. Identify appropriate computer software and hardware. Definition of key terms. Information computer technology. 
This is an extensional term to IT that stresses systems that enable users to access, store, transmit and manipulate information. ICT is a broad subject and the concepts are evolving. It covers any product that will store, retrieve, manipulate, transmit, or receive information electronically or in a digital form, e.g. emails. Computer software. Computer software is a collection of instructions that enable the user to interact with a computer and its hardware or perform tasks. It is used or needed for input, processing, output, storage, and management of activities. The software which is used for inputting data in the system includes word processors, spreadsheets, and presentation software. Software used for storage includes cloud storage where the output is stored or hosted using resources in data centers and delivered to end users over the internet. Identify appropriate computer software and hardware. Software for the management of activities includes database management systems which allows users to process data into useful information. Computer hardware. This is any tangible device in the computer environment. Some of the hardware that may be encountered in this topic are monitor. This is the main output device of a computer. It is commonly known as visual display unit, VDU. Printer. Is used to print information on paper. Storage devices. These include flash disks, hard disks, and optical disks, e.g. CDs. Input devices such as the mouse and keyboard. Internet. This is a global system of interconnected computer networks that use the Internet Protocol Suite, TCP, IP, to link devices worldwide. Range of information, resources, and services. Picture information is shared via the Internet. Digital literacy. While literacy is defined as the ability to read and write, Digital literacy is the ability to access, process, understand and create information in the digital environment. Concepts and functions of ICT functions of ICT data capture. Process of compiling information e.g. Amazon uses internet cookies to capture data about the customer's purchases via the website. So, it uses the data to suggest items to a user related to previous orders via the website. Data processing. This involves converting analyzing, computing, and producing all forms of data information. After capturing data, the system must reorganize that data based on what the organization wants to use the information for. Generation of information involves organizing information into a useful form. Storage of information involves retaining information for future use e.g. Facebook stores user registration details. Retrieval of information process by which a computer device is used to find and copy data for future distribution and processing. A good example is Google or Yahoo which have data centers that store information that can be used at a later stage by the end user to search for information online. Basic Concepts of ICT Information technology encompasses all the technology, hardware, software, and computer networks that we use to collect, process, protect, and store information. Information computer technology involves the transfer and use of all kinds of information. ICT is the foundation of the economy and a driving force of social change in the 21st century. Distance is no longer an issue when it comes to accessing information, e.g. working from home, distance learning, and e-banking are now possible from any place with an internet connection and a computing device. Hardware. The physical and tangible parts of a computer, that is, electrical, electronic, and mechanical parts e.g. monitor, keyboard, mouse, etc. Software. These are the intangible parts of computers. Software types. Operating system. This is the program that manages computer hardware e.g. Linux, Windows, Mac OS X, etc. Application software. Utility programs. These are all programs that users use to perform different tasks or for problem solving. For example, Microsoft Word, Microsoft Excel, and Microsoft PowerPoint. Computer networks. A computer network is comprised of at least two computers, connected by wire or wirelessly that can exchange data. Types of networks. LAN. Local area network. Covers a relatively small geographical area, e.g. a university campus or office building. Examples include Ethernet and Wi-Fi. WLAN. 
Wireless local area network links two or more devices using wireless communication within a limited area such as a campus or office building. Some WLANs exist to extend an existing wired network. WAN. Wide area network covers a relatively large geographical area e.g. cities or states. Connects a greater number of computers and local networks. History and classification of computers. The computer as you know it today had its beginning in the 19th century. English mathematician called Charles Baggage, 1791 to 1871, designed the analytical engine and it is this design that the basic framework of computers today is based on. Computers can be classified into three generations. Each generation lasted for a certain period of time and each gave us either a new and improved computer or an improvement of the existing computer. First generation, 1937 to 1946, the first computer Atanasso Berry Computer, ABC, was built by Dr. John B. Atanasso and Clifford Berry. In 1943 an electronic computer named the Colossus was built for the military. Other developments continued until 1946 when electronic numerical integration and computer, ENIAC, was built. There were no operating systems. Second generation, 1947 to 1962, the computers in this generation used transistors instead of vacuum tubes, which were more reliable. The Universal Automatic Computer, UNIVAC-1, was introduced for commercial use. In 1953, the International Business Machine, IBM, 650 and 700 series computers made their mark in the computer world. Over 100 programming languages were developed. Computers had memory and operating systems. Third generation, 1963 present, the invention of the integrated circuit brought us this generation. Computers became smaller, more powerful, and more reliable and they were able to run many different programs at the same time. Classification of computers Computers can be classified on the following basis, basis of size, basis of functionality, basis of data handling, classification on basis of size, supercomputer. This is the highest performing computer system. It has a high level of performance compared to a general purpose computer. Examples include PERAM, Jaguar, and Roadrunner. Mainframe computer, commonly called Big Iron. They are used by big organizations for bulk data processing such as statistics, census data processing, and transaction processing e.g. IBM series, System 29, etc. Mini computers. They came into the market in the mid 1960s and were sold for a cheaper price than the mainframe. They were designed for control, instrumentation, and human interaction, e.g., laptops, PCs, etc. Microcomputers. It is small and relatively inexpensive with a microprocessor as their CPU. It includes a microprocessor, memory, and minimal input and output circuitry mounted on a single printed circuit board. Classification on basis of functionality. Servers. Dedicated computers set up to offer some services to the client. Workstations. Computers designed to primarily be used by a single user at a time. Information appliances. Portable devices designed to perform a limited set of tasks like basic circulations, playing multimedia, etc. Embedded computers. Computing devices that are used in other machines to serve a limited set of operations classification on basis of data handling. Analog computer. Form of the computer that uses the continuously changeable aspect of physical facts such as electrical and mechanical quantities to model the problem being solved. Digital computers. They perform circulations and logic operations with quantities represented as digits usually in the binary number system i.e. zeros and ones. Hybrid. A computer that processes both analog and digital information. Components of a computer system Computer system A computer software is simply a collection of data or computer instructions that tell the computer how to work. They include computer programs, libraries, and non-executable data such as online documentation or digital media. Types of software. Application software uses the computer system to perform special functions or provide entertainment functions beyond the basic operation of the computer itself. System software. 
software for managing computer hardware behavior so as to provide basic functionalities that are required by users or other software to run properly. Examples are operating systems, device drivers, and utility software. Malicious software. Software developed to harm and disrupt computers, e.g. malware, and viruses. Computer hardware. These are the physical, tangible parts of a computer such as cabins, CPU, monitor, keyboard, speakers, etc. Examples. Input devices and output devices. Input devices enter information into the system e.g. keyboard, mouse. Output devices display information in human-readable mode. Storage devices e.g. CDs, flash disks, and hard disks. Operating system function and commands. The operating system is system software that manages computer hardware and software resources and provides common services for computer programs. Types of operating systems. Single and multitasking. Single and multi-user. Distributed. Manages a group of distinct computers and makes them to appear as a single computer. Template embedded. Designed to be used in embedded computer systems real-time. An OS that guarantees to process events or data by a specific moment and time library. Functions of an operating system. Security. It uses password protection to protect user data and similar techniques job accounting. It keeps track of time and resources used by various tasks and users. Memory management. It manages the primary and main memory. Processor management. It decides which processes have access to the processor. Device management. It manages device communication via their respective drivers and keeps track to all devices connected to the system. Commands of an operating system append. Sets the path to be searched for data files or displays the current search path. Assign. Command direct request for disk operations from one drive to a different drive. A-T-T-R-I-B-E. This command changes or views the attributes of one or more drives. Call. Starts a batch file from which another batch file and returns when that one ends. C-H-C-P. Command either displays or changes the active code page used to display character glyphs in a console window. Conclusion. This unit covered determining concepts of computers, classification of computers, identification of appropriate computer software and hardware as well as determining functions and commands of operating systems, history of computers, functions, and concepts of ICT. Further reading. Computer Basics by Roger Raman. People.boo.edu slash briefcomputerhistory.html We have can come to the end of the lesson. Links have been provided for further reading. Thank you for watching and listening to this lesson. See you in the next video. If this is was your first time, remember to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to receive alerts when new content is released.